to the heart of the Kingitanga and uh, it's it's always been uh, a, a great honor as I mentioned earlier and it didn't ha take Nelson Mandela to visit here even before he arrived we were very close relations more terms dealing with apartheid around South Africa and here and so through that time there's been a lot of healing being a lot of reconciliations and uh, we went through a tough and challenging times almost a hundred plus years ago there there was an elderly woman uh, nanny we call her tepuya you can just see her her copper uh statue there she's our florence nightingale she's the woman responsible uh back in the early 1920s uh during the uh Ropatu, the loss of land and during that time a lot of our people were almost wiped out with the flu uh, epidemic and um, through a concern of a lot of our people that was still around uh, was joined to one of our king king mahuta who asked his niece Tepuya, to try and get them out of the uh, the suffering that they were going through and so she brought uh, her people here to Turangawawai and what you see now is the uh, uh, what she had brought and built from a hundred plus years ago. So uh, Te Puya has left a lot of uh, inspiration. Uh, we, we've just recently uh, built a brand new marae at the Turang at uh, University. And we're now uh, building relationships with one another. As you know, we've got Mayor Paul Yates here. And these are the relationships where <laughs> We're very uh, much now, uh, Paul uh, Southgate, sorry. Um, and as our Kalamato mentioned, you've come to the heart of uh, the rugby and rugby league. And though soccer, we only, sorry for being showing this, we only know more about the men's side and more than the female. And of course, I was brought up knowing uh, legends like Pele and all those, those guys. But no doubt that the way you sang that song over there, I think you guys got a lot of energy to to take it out hopefully so i believe you're all in different sections and different groups and i think we're we're also in australia and then partnership so with that uh, good timing uh, thank you very much for this time well it was amazing and i think uh, it's the we are happy and uh, we've enjoyed the ceremony. And that was a beautiful song that you played for us. Can you tell us a bit about it and, and the meaning behind it? Well, uh, as our team, we love singing. So it's just a song uh, uh, talking about uh, when we look on how God has blessed us and everything. So it is amazing for us and we really enjoy singing. That's the basic, basic one for you, just to turn the world's flat. And then it was fun. And then otherwise we go and just So the gift that was given to the team uh, by Mayor Southgate is a poi. And uh, this poi traditionally was used by our men. Um, so during the time of warfare. Uh, they use the poi to strengthen their wrists for suppleness as well um, to go into battle, so to use the weaponry um, and so therefore um, in order to strengthen their wrists it would help with them striking um, with their implements or their weapons. More so today, uh, the women use it in terms of performance, performance wise, so um, and our children use it in the kohanga reo, our babies, um, our primary school, our high schools, and we have competitions and the poi dance, um, the poi is used within those brackets uh, and usually about maybe three or four minutes um, waiata or song, uh, song and dance and we use our poi for that. Now this is, uh, there's some thought gone into the, the poi being given to the team because of the colours, the significant colours of uh, your nation and of your flag as well. So that was also made by the hands of those people that welcomed you this morning from Tūranga Waiwai Marae, from the Waikato. Mm -hmm. yeah.